Hi everybody, happy new year. Uh, first, I need to apologize to you for coming to you so late today, but I did say that I would be here today because last week was Christmas and we kind of enjoyed the family. So I wanted to make sure that I got to see you all today. And I have a few things that I'm gonna talk about as far as New Year's resolutions and things that are coming up. Hey Cheryl, happy new year. Happy new year to everybody. I hope that uh, you had a fabulous 2019 and uh, 2020 is gonna be much better. I know it, I just know it. Hey Penny, hey Kristen, happy new year. Uh, lots of special things going on here this year. Uh, so hit that share button so I can tell you about a few things that are gonna be happening and um, some ideas that you can kind of grab hold on to. So uh, like I said, I apologize for coming to you late today because this morning um, my husband and I went with four of our friends on a nice eight mile hike around one of the local mountains and when my husband's home, it's just nice to spend some time with him. So I wanted to dedicate that time and be with him and do something fun. So we did, and that's why I'm coming late to you. Anyway, so my new year kicked off really, really well. I'd love to hear how you've kicked off your new year. So put it in some comments. I'd love to see what you're doing today to kick off your new year. So while I was on the hike this morning, uh, my friend Sarah, gave me an idea and it's it, I, all the credit goes to her and I'm not sure if it was her idea or if she found it from somebody else but I loved it and I'm kind of taking it and run, running with it so I want to share it with you because I think maybe it might be something that you might want to do as well so she was saying you know get a jar and then every day at the end of the day each day during the new year, starting today, write down something good that has happened during the day. Because we all know that something good, something bad happens every day. Something frustrating, something exasperating. Um, but yet, there is good in usually every day. And there's my friend Susan. Hey, Susan. So, uh, anyway, if you're just jumping in now, and my friend Leslie, Happy New Year. If you're just jumping in now, write in the comments what you're doing or what you've done today to start your new year off. So, Susan, this is where you come in, because I texted Susan before because she um, she's kind of hooked into this a little bit. So anyway, getting back to what I said before, uh, my friends Sarah and Pablo gave me a great idea. If you get a little jar and you write down something good that has happened in your day every day this year and then next January 1st you take that jar and you go and you read through everything good that has happened to you during 2020 well I loved that idea I thought it was a great idea but instead of doing a jar uh, I'm gonna do something a little different my friend Susan gave me a little gift <laughs> and little kind of thing that she she calls me the boss so she got me this little journal and I know it's backwards. It says boss lady. I know it's backwards because that functionality is still not working. So anyway, what um, I'm doing instead of a jar, I'm taking the journal that she gave me. And if you have a journal, uh, it's, it's something cool to do. And you can write little notes in there too. So what I did so far today, I told you I went on a hike with um, my husband and four of my friends completed an eight mile hike. So that was the one good thing that I think that happened to me today. Now, if you have multiple good things, why not write multiple? But so far for today, that is my one good thing. If I have something else before I go to bed, I'm gonna write it down. So I'm hoping by the end of this year, and I'm gonna bring this book with me wherever I go because I try, as you know, I travel a lot. I'm gonna bring it with me and faithfully every night. I'm gonna write, uh, I love you too, Susan. Um, I'm gonna write something good that happened to me every single day so that we can reflect upon our 2020. So I, and next year at this time, I'm gonna reflect upon my 2020 and see what has happened to me throughout the year. 
And it can be anything. It can be anything. So, you know, if you're doing a quilting pro project and you finished it and you're just happy about finishing that project, write it down. Um, if you decided for the first time ever that you're going to try something new, like maybe going for a walk or maybe trying some embroidery on your um, machines, that's something great. Write it down, put it in the jar, and next year you have it to reflect upon. So that's one thing as far as my New Year's resolution. Now, I want to show you a few things back here. And I've got a really big special announcement for you all. So stay tuned. It's going to take a couple minutes and we're going to get to it because I think you're going to be interested. So first I wanted to show you something. As a lot of you know, I've been posting things that I've been stitching out, uh, doing some embroidery. So one of the last things I did at the end of the year was this cute little unicorn embroidery on this tea towel. Isn't that cute? Because who doesn't love uh, unicorns? And I know a lot of you are going to ask, where did I get that from? This one was from Urban Threads Embroidery. So, and my sister-in-law is joining me. Happy New Year, Carolyn. She asked if I can embroider a dog with a red collar. So, I'm working on that, Carolyn. I'm getting there. So, this is one of the last things that I did. And I thought it was kind of cute and fun to do. Now, I want to show you just a couple other things. And then I'm going to get to that special announcement. So, Many of you saw that when I went on my cruise, we went through Panama Canal and I picked up some molas. And molas are um, things that I have loved and I showed you last time a quilt that I made out of molas. Well, in between that time that I spoke to you last, I was able to acquire five more molas. And these are a little bit more intricate and I had a little vote. And if you didn't see it, if you could put in your comments here what you think, I was wondering if I should put them in a quilt or if I should just frame them because they're just beautiful on their own. So I'm going to show you one by one what I picked up. So this is one of them. Isn't that beautiful? So super, super intricate. Uh, the stitches are beautiful. So they're all hand done again. These are from uh, Panama. This one is of kitty cats because you all know how I love my kitty cats. Kitty cats and dogs. So this is another one I acquired. Isn't that beautiful? Then this one, some dancing kitties and doggies. Isn't that pretty? So that's another one. And they're, um, I would say about 12, maybe 12, maybe 14 by 12 maybe. Um, and there's another one. And they're all, all hand done. And the last one. So those are some of the molas that I was able to pick up. And the sun is now coming in on me from over there, which is great. I love the sun. But uh, so sorry if it's getting, a, I'm getting a little washed out there. But so are you ready for the special announcement? So hit that share button because I have a feeling that some of you are going to enjoy this. So, um, some of, so I have a lot of new things coming up for you and for me in the new year. I am doing a, um, a bunch of uh, quilting cruises, which I'd love to, you to join me on. Um, I'm also teaching in a lot of different places, but one place, and you, a lot of you know that I do online classes with Blueprint. Well, last year I filmed my first solo online class and I'm almost done editing it. And my plan is to have it launched to all of you by the end of January. So you will have the ability to watch a class or take a class from me online. If you can't go to one of those cruises, if you can't go to one of those retreats, or if you can't go somewhere where I am teaching, you will have the opportunity to take that class from me by the end of January. And in this year, I will be filming a second online class which I will also be launching to you. So you're gonna stay tuned for that. Now, you're probably wondering, what is the class that she's gonna be teaching online? So, boy, that sun is really fading me out now. If you, you wanna see what I'm teaching, hey, Happy New Year, Jean and Linda and Ginny. So, I will be teaching my own online class, which you'll be able to get off of my website. 
uh, hopefully by the end of January, I'm almost done editing because I'm doing it all myself. A lot of you probably saw in um, American Quilters Magazine, a quilt that I had done that um, was published in the magazine, but right now you can't, um, I, you can't get it anymore, that magazine anymore. I have this quilt ready to be online, the online class. And you know what, I'm gonna go, if you guys hang on one second, I'm gonna go shut that shade so that the sun isn't shining on this. I want you to see it. So I'll be right back, hang on tight, here I come. Okay, sorry about that folks. Here I come, I'm coming back. Now you'll be able to see better. Sorry about that. Love the sunshine, but it was coming in on me. So anyway, it's Cactus and Bloom. So I know I can't back up enough for you, but this will be the quilt that you will be able to learn from me online. And it will be your course forever and ever and ever once you get in the class. So you'll be, if you've never ever paper pieced before, um, you will learn how to paper piece a super easy way. You will get the pattern included with the course. You get, it's, it is from nuts to bolts. It is like being in a class with me. So I hope that you can join me in that class and I will keep you updated. And I am showing you just uh, this version. This is the one that was previously published. Um, and I know it's hard to see because I can't step back, but I'll post a picture of this full on. But what I did for you too is we did this up in another colorway. We did it up in my, actually two other colorways, in my ancient etchings fabric that will be available in February and we will have them kitted. So if you want to just do it up in those colorways, you can without having to get the fabric on your own or you can get the fabric on your own and take the class either way. So I'm so, so excited to bring this online class to you this year. And I hope that you will enjoy the class as well. I hope you'll join me for that. So those are a few things, little things that are going to be happening soon with me. And I hope that you all have some great stuff happening with you this new year's as well. And, Write in the comments. I want to know how you started your day off today. Start the new year off right. Start it on the right foot and run and go with it. Anyway, I want to wish you all a happy, healthy, and creative new year. And thank you for joining me late. And again, I apologize for being late today. You'll see me um, next week. I won't be here because I actually am on the road again teaching. I'll be up in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. I'll be teaching there three days. If you are there in the area, please come join me. You can sign up for the classes there. It's with the Havasu Stitchers. So just check my website. I'll put a link for you and you can check it out. If you want to join me, I would love to have you in my class next week. So next week I won't be here for Watch Me Wednesday, but I will be uh, pretty much every other week until I start traveling again. So see you all and I hope to see you in my online class, hopefully launched by the beginning of February. Have a great new year, everyone. Bye-bye.